you know, I don't know if you realize this or not, but this is a really busy time of year. I had no idea. I had no idea that this was such a busy time. <laughs> Just joking, obviously. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to the Simple and Beautiful Life kitchen. The Simple and Beautiful Life beautifully christmas doorway. <laughs> As I mentioned, this is a very busy time of year. You may have already seen that just the other day, I made an entire batch of blueberry cupcake bath bombs. Well, they're gone. <laughs> They've not all sold out completely yet, but they all went to the store that Simple and Beautiful Life is in currently. And now I have to make more because People really like bath bombs and people really like bath bombs around Christmas. So it seems as though a lot of people are getting bath bombs in there for stocking stuffers, which is a really great stocking stuffer because who doesn't want permission to take a blueberry cupcake or a peppermint cream or a citrus berry crush warm bath. So, as you may have figured out today, we are making more blueberry cupcake bath bombs. So, one thing I will always, 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 always admit to is, uh, being just a tad bit uh, klutzy. I seem to drop everything that shouldn't be dropped. You know, like if something's in a plastic bottle and something's in a glass bottle, I'm dropping the glass bottle and not just dropping it. I'm like tossing it across the room and I don't do this on purpose. It just like, <laughs> I don't know how it happens and it always lands in just the worst place that just makes you <sighs> until you you realize like the severity of what you've just done well I say this because today when I was getting my my lovely beautiful fragrance oils off the shelf which are in glass bottles, which is one of the reasons I buy them because I think it's better in glass. Well, I decided today to take my most favorite blueberry fragrance oil and just toss it across the room. You know, it's fine. So you will notice it's in a jar. The jar is in a jar because it's not leaking yet. But when I tossed it, <laughs> of course, it landed on my my 20 pound weight that I have in the living room because, you know, sometimes you're busy running your business and you can't go to the gym. So you have to curl while you're like doing inventory, you know, the regular stuff. Well, <laughs> just toss the blueberry glass bottle of fragrance oil onto the 20 pound, very solid weight dumbbell. So there is, see that, that doesn't look very concerning, but if you had heard how it sounded when it hurt, when it hit that dumbbell, you'd be worried too. It, it totally sounded like it just cracked completely in half and I was absolutely expecting it to begin just pouring out all over my floor. It didn't happen, but I'm expecting it to happen at some point. So you will see me trying to keep it in this jar so that if the bottle does completely crack in half, which it should. I mean, it hit hard. Um, 
if the bottle cracks in half, it'll crack into this other glass jar, which I can seal up with this lid and it won't be, you know, a big deal. But yeah, I just, I couldn't believe it when I, I took it off of its shelf. I keep it in the padding that it comes in. If you watch my Wholesale Supplies Plus unboxing videos, you'll know they package this stuff very well so that it doesn't break when it gets to the person who's buying it who's supposed to take great care of it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it came to me and I just, just decided to throw it across the room. So, I'm very nervous because, you know, dealing with potentially broken glass is not very fun. So far, so good, and it doesn't even look... It actually doesn't look cracked on the inside, and so... Who knows? That is why I buy these. Because they're, they're tough little cookies. Okay. Man, this smells so good. Again, I will link the fragrance oils below. I highly encourage using these because as you can tell, they're very sturdy. Alrighty. Got my coconut oil. I've got the blue, and it's such a beautiful color. And I've got the, it actually looks different on camera, but it's more purple in real life. I will add a little bit more purple to it. Um, as I was editing the last blueberry cupcake bath bomb um, video, I realized how obnoxious that noise was. So I've tried to uh, keep it out of this video as much as possible <laughs> because it's kind of, well, it's a little bit inevitable. It's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> Not exactly nails on a chalkboard quality or, you know, at that level, but could get old pretty quick. There we go. I absolutely love using coconut oil in my all of my bath products. I use it in every single one of my soaps and I use it in all of my bath bombs. One on its own it smells really good. So even my unscented bars, they have a little bit of sweetness to them. It's not just nothing. So I really like that about coconut oil. And two, it is so good for your skin. If you've ever, especially during the winter, if you've ever just had a jar of coconut oil, gotten some on your hands, rubbed it in, you'll realize it feels really nice. Even... My bath bombs that are already, these are the ones that I keep on the counter just to see what they're doing. It's a bath bomb that it already exploded. This one broke in half. So I just like monitoring it. And what I do with this is I usually actually use it almost like a pumice stone because I really am not a huge fan of baths. So the soiled exploded unsellable bath bombs that I have left over. I take it, rub it on my hands, run it under some warm water so it can start fizzling out. And it makes my hands feel so good afterwards. So yeah, I don't think, even if I were to ever change my recipes, I think coconut oil is here to stay. It's just such a 
such a quality ingredient. Alrighty. We have added the citric acid. There's so much stirring involved with bath bombs because you really have to make sure that everything is dispersed, everything is blended nicely. I don't know why. I have a mixer. I could. I don't know why I've chosen only hand stirring, but here we are. Okay. I think these are almost pretty much done. They're keeping their shape. I am probably going to add just a little spritz extra. The last batch I made was weird in that it, it was too dry. And as you probably saw, I was making them on a day where it was pouring down rain. So humidity levels were just through the roof. Those are not usually days that people make bath bombs because the bath bombs tend to um, activate too early and start exploding, start fizzing, and then you can't use them. Mine crumbled. It was very weird. Fixable. Um, I would much rather have them crumble than explode because once they explode it's really hard you got to add more dry ingredients try to balance it out stop the explosion stop the activation it's kind of a, a big pain in the butt so when they crumble i always mold them over my bowls or i'm sorry i always unmold them over my bowls and if they crumble they just crumble back into the mix that they came from That way, I can just make them again. Okay. One thing that I did differently with these, which is very fun, is I, uh, I will be adding some blue Epsom salt as a decoration. It's very, very pretty, kind of wintry. So I will be adding blue and purple because why not? Okay. Our bath bombs are totally, well, that wasn't a very big. Boop. Totally ready to go. So let's start making some bath bombs. Okay, just a few more left and we'll be all done. I think these are my new favorite. And I feel like I do say that every single time I make a new one. Because when the peppermint ones came out, I was just, oh my gosh, I loved them. I was like, oh my gosh, these peppermint ones, they're my favorite. <laughs> but now that the blueberry ones are out, Blueberry might be my favorite. <laughs> it's just so, it's hard not to pick a favorite every single time. <laughs> I 
I'm also realizing that one, I have this all over my shirt. <laughs> See, I told you I'm klutzy, messy. But what I was about to say is I'm realizing one of the harder patterns to accomplish successfully is the the small lines that kind of end up looking a little bit like tiger stripes or zebra stripes because those take a lot of little baby layers and sometimes the baby layers are hard to get just right because you're you're essentially layering a mixture of baking soda and baking soda doesn't really layer evenly it's not like paper it kind of just falls you know however it wants to <laughs> so getting those those tiger stripes may be one of the more challenging that is that's also one of the fun things about these is once you learn how to make them the creative freedom that bath bombs allow you is basically endless okay I'm getting at that point where I don't think I have enough to make a large bath bomb I think that was probably my last big bath bomb that I'll be able to make Time for my baby mold. Yeah, look at this. It's cause I, I get so close. Yeah, this is why I, I legitimately can't have nice things because I will destroy them quickly, very quickly. And not even because I don't care, it's just, I, it's like I, I don't know how not to. This little baby bomb, going heavy on the Epsom salt with it. <laughs> but I like I like bath bombs that are heavy with Epsom salt because sore muscles they like that stuff a lot. So we are almost done, and then I. Speaking of sore muscles, I need to get my butt outside and go run with my dogs before it starts pouring down rain. I don't know if you've ever been caught in a rainstorm when you're running with your dog. But there's really nothing much, nothing worse. There's a lot worse, but it's not fun to bring a rain-soaked dog home. They just, they don't smell good. I don't know what it is. I don't know what about dog fur and rain. That's just a putrid combination. <laughs> and it sticks to your whole house too. It's not just, you know, for five minutes while the dog was wet, the house smelled. It's for the next four weeks while it hasn't rained at all, the house smells, you know? So I try to avoid running with the dogs in the rain at it, you know, as much as I can. You la la. Okay. Before this goes into the fridge, ooh. So shiny. I have just a little bit left. And as you know, this just goes into a mold and I sit it on my counter just to see how it reacts. Kind of a little tester out of every single batch. Okay, here's the last two. I did kind of like a splatter pattern on that one. 
I, I was working on I was working on the zebra stripes but as you can tell like that's that's actually a, a little bit harder than you might think and then that one's got the little geode on it I really like these ones I think that's very fun Alrighty, so before we go, a little update. It's still doing okay. The, the jar is dry. I was expecting it to have like exploded and leaked out and gone everywhere by now. It has not done that. So it could have just been one of those times where it sounded like it broke and it just didn't. I don't know. Even more of a reason to purchase from Wholesale Supplies Plus because if you throw their glass bottles of fragrance oil across the room at a 20 pound dumbbell with quite force for something that you did accidentally, it will be okay. <laughs> or at least it seems like it will be okay. So they're not skimping on the glass for these jars. It, it's very clear. Other than that, it is getting darker and darker outside, so I should probably hurry up, get changed, and take my dogs on a walk before we either get rained on or we're all stuck inside just circling the apartment like crazy people. <laughs> so I hope you all have had an absolutely wonderful day today. I hope that if you like the rain, like I do, that it is raining where you're at maybe even snowing because it's December. It's supposed to be snowing right now. I hope you'll have a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful day. Go take your dogs on a walk or run, make some bath bombs and just enjoy life because it's great. I will see you guys next time. Bye.